right, guys, what is up? It is Woody, and we are back with some MC Mechanics FTB Special Forestry Mod Trading and Mailing System. I hope we got all that out right, okay? So we're going to work with the Forestry Mod, and in that Forestry Mod, we're going to work with the Mailing and Trading System, guys. Um, the two main reasons I'm doing this is because I could not find a good in-depth tutorial on how to use this. I mean, I got the basics of it because I'm a little bit, I'm, I'm smart, right? But as for, hey, you need to do this, this, and specifics, it was kind of like, what the fuck's going on, man? What? What is this crap? So that and um, all the LC members on the server will be watching this video and they're going to be like, oh, okay, a tutorial on how to use this system that we have on the server because we will be using this on our server, guys. Um, admin, ops, owners, moderators, definitely suggest this plugin for forestry on your server. It makes shops a whole lot easier and a lot funner too. I love it. Okay? So... We're at the Legacy Craft Post Office, and uh, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna talk to Bob. Bob, um, Bob's been here for a while now. He's a veteran. He's closed the post office for the day for us, so we can work in here. Um, and he knows everything about this, okay? And he's, he's taught me, okay? Bob's been here for 450,000 ticks, and you're about to retire at 5,000, right, Bob? Support your family with your 401k. <laughs> Sigh. Uh, he, he likes the post office. He doesn't want to retire. He doesn't like being home. Kids are driving crazy, right, Bob? Yeah, okay. So there's three main things that you need in this mod for this to work. Well, two, actually. For, this, for the owners and stuff, you only need two. But um, if you, there's a little bonus extra. I'm going to show you guys that right now. This is strictly an admin, moderator, owner, um, run the server type thing. So this is called a stamp collector. This cannot be crafted. It can be, only be created in. We're just going to get this out of the way real quick. Um, the only thing this block does is it collects every stamp that's sent out through the mailing system will come right to this box. Um, you can use this to see how well your trading systems are working um, by just counting the stamps. We've got a lot of stamps in here. Obviously, people are trading and stuff, and they're doing the shops are doing really good. People like it. If there's a few stamps, people may not understand it, and you might have to put a tutorial up for them, or like I'm doing right now, or just kind of rethink about how you're doing it. Um, and how you're coming across with the shops and stuff. All right, but that's good for you guys in the beginning. Um, after that, I wouldn't really too worry about it too much. Um, and then, like he's got it back here. Bob's the one that takes care of that stuff. I mean, he, he takes the stamps and resells them. We, we recycle around here, right, Bob? Okay, Bob's not very talkative today. Um, okay, the other two things, let's get into this right now. Okay, we'll get rid of this, actually. Get rid of that, and we'll get into this. All right, so you're gonna need, the main thing you're gonna need first, okay, before anything starts, is envelopes and stamps. But we're, like, we're gonna make the machine first, all right? So if you're gonna do this, make a mailing system. Um, the mailbox is the main thing you need to trade to the shops and to mail to other people. So this will be the first machine you make out of this, all right? Now, there's some things that you have to do. This is actually a pretty, pretty easy thing to do once you've got stuff going but you're gonna need to make sturdy castings which is gonna take a carpenter from forestry and um, oh well no okay I lied um, that's just bronze in the thing but uh let's get back out of here real quick bloom, bloom. okay so this one's pretty easy to make 10 you're gonna want to get 10 uh, you're gonna have some bronze you're gonna need smeltery or some way to make the bronze and then chest so this is pretty easy to make. I was thinking this one. Sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> but um, that's pretty simple. So we're going to do the mailing first, okay? We'll get into the stations in a second because that will all fall into place. And you'll understand it a lot more once you understand the mailing system, all right? All right, guys. So I've got some letters here, and I've got some stamps. I had to buy them out of the machine because uh, I didn't have none on me. Actually, I did. You guys saw it. I had to cough. Sorry. Whatever. I mean, uh, acting. Whatever sucks. Um, but anyways... There's a few stamps. Um, I don't know if you can make all these stamps. I haven't tried all of these in actual survival yet. But I know for these, you can make the 1N, the 2N, the 5N, and the 10N. I think, I don't know what they're doing with these. Um, maybe they're not implemented in my mod pack or something. Maybe they are in yours. But there's a 20, a 50, and a 100. Or, yeah, 20, 50, and 100 too. So, these are pretty easy. You need some paper. Gold for that one, which is this one. Um, for the 5N, you need some 10 paper and honey drops. So you're gonna need bees too for this, absolutely. Um, and you're gonna need copper, same thing with that one. And then appetite's probably the easiest one to make. But we're gonna explain why you can't just use one cent stamps or one end stamps, okay? 
Um, now to get honey, you're gonna have to get into the bees, honeycombs, um, stringy combs. Most of the combs drop a honey drop if they're in the centrifuge. And to make a centrifuge, we're not gonna go all the way into this. I will show you kind of real quick how to do it, but I'm not gonna get into the bee mod. Uh, this is mainly just about the post office mod, okay, or trading system, whatever you wanna call it, all right? So it's actually, come on, can I click on some stuff, dude? You're killing me, bro. There we go. Sturdy casing, copper, copper, glass. Okay, that makes a centrifuge. And you're gonna need seed oil. Or no, you don't need seed oil to do this, but you do need power, okay? Well, we're not gonna go into that, okay? But other than the stamps, you're going to need letters. And to craft the letters, you're gonna need silky propolis, sticky propolis, or propolis. You cannot use the magic or extra bees propolis. It doesn't work, you have to have the original propolis, okay? And to get that, you use the centrifuge to get, with a silky comb, to get silky propolis, okay? Now, if you wanna go ahead and uh, use this propolis, you can't really, I can't find a way to get into this with the recipe. So that's why I'm just using silky combs. Um, the other propolis, I could not find a recipe for, like comb wise. But I do believe uh, it's like a mundane comb and uh, something else. Um, I'm not all up on bees right now, so I can't tell you. But this is definitely a tropical bee. Read those and you'll get a silky comb. And a silky comb and a centrifuge will give you a propolis and a honey drop, which you'll need both of. Now, if you do not have any honey drops, which you should if you got a propolis, okay? Which you need to do for do and you don't have a honey drop. In the carpenter, you can actually put, let me look up letter again, hold on. Oh, you know, stamp, sorry. Um, if you put it in the carpenter, oh, you dumb, dumb thing. All right, let me go in here. If you put this in the carpenter, you can actually take away the honey drops, okay? But you will need seed oil to make it. That's all I gotta say. Um, and then you need the squeezer for that. So if you're working on forestry all depth, this is probably the better way to do it. But if you don't, get some honey off a friend or something and uh, put that in there, okay? And just make the crafting recipe. All right, so those are easy ways to make stamps. And we'll get into what the stamps do in a second. Let's get into the letter. The letter, if I can click on it, there we go. There we, no, no, do what I want you to do, thank you. Right click, maybe, this, this. Oh, you suck so bad. All right, let's just put it in here. I ain't want to do what I wanted to do today. Um, the letter. We do that and go here. It's a propolis and a paper. If I didn't show you that already, I think I showed you that already. But pretty simple, pretty simple. Now you know how to get that. All right, now to mail a letter, you're gonna simply do this. You're gonna take them out of the stack, just grab one letter. They will not work in the stack. I kept them in stacks just to show you. If you go like this, they'll say, can only write one letter at a time, all right? So you're gonna need to get a single letter. Are you following me? Single letter, go to it, right click, and up here, you can trade from players to shops or trade stations. A player, trade station, okay. This trade station one is where you'll actually put in the trade station name when we go to buy something, all right? And I'll show you that in a little bit. But for now, we're gonna do players, okay? Now, if we wanted to write Bob, let's just say I'm writing Jet. One of her mailboxes is over here, but let's write myself, actually, because that can't, well, yeah. Let's write Jet, because I think I can get into her mailbox. I think she left it open. She helped me set this up. Jet underscore X, whoops. And you can click on these too to get them back and forth. I kind of like that. This bottom part we'll put, hey girl, hey girl, what's up? What's up? Boop, boop. <laughs> boop, boop. I don't know how. I enjoy this mod too much. All right, so if you want to go back here, you see it's kind of like, it's kind of like sketchy at most, and you click down here to get bottom, and you know, okay. But you can move that way. Um, you're probably just better just to uh, click down here or something, and see, I can't even get it to the end now. All right, so, but it does work with delete and uh, backspace and stuff like that, so it's pretty it's pretty good, I mean, for what it's worth. All right, so I wanna send this to Jet, okay? But um, if I go, if I exit, whoops. If I exit this, hit enter, get out of that, and hit exit. And when I go to put it in my mailbox, Oh, it'll say letter is not sufficiently stamped. Oh, I forgot my stamp. All right, um, so let's click back on the letter and we'll put a stamp on. Okay, here's where we get into the technical stuff. Every letter needs at least one stamp to send out. Okay, so listen, follow me now. Every letter needs one stamp to send out. If I wanted to send, say I wanna send Jet, let's say, 
Um, if I can get to this stupid thing. Let's go. Let's delete this. Let's say here's some extra letters. Smiley face. Because I'm so nice like that. All right. So if I wanted to do that, and I put some letters in here, let's put like three letters in here. Actually, you know what? Why can't I grab a letter? Let's put some stamps in here. All right, just like that. Now my stuff's working, all right? All right, just like that. All right, see how it says stamps needed now? For every extra item we put in here, we need one extra stamp. All right, and here comes a problem. Let's just say, let's take these out real quick, and I'm gonna put some iron in here. Iron. Ignore the, this is, here's some extra letters crap, okay? Let's say I want some iron. Let's say, hey, here's a, here's six iron. No, she wants to make a, she wants to make a chest plate or something. Six, seven, eight, right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She wants to make a chest plate. So it says unofficial, unsufficient stamps. Okay, apply more stamps to pay the postal service. But you see here, you try to put the ones in. I only got four stamps. How am I supposed to do this? This is where the other stamps come in, guys. All right, so it's just, it's just a mathematical solution here. We got eight, eight items in one letter. So we're going to need one for the letter and one for each item. So that's nine stamps. So let's pull this one out. We can actually use uh, this 10 stamp thing and send it like that, and it'll be good. But we're wasting a stamp. So let's use, let's use the five right there. Five in. It's still not enough. Let's add two two ins. That's four. Bam, right there. I actually got that. Why is that a seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's a 20. That's why. Derp. Yellow. <laughs> I was like, why does that work? All right, so pay the fairy man. Okay, sending letters cost stamps to base fee of one. Every attachment adds another one of the cost. So we got eight items in here plus the letter. So we need nine stamps. Two, four, nine. See how much that costs? All right. And then we can mail this baby out. Ooh, it's a big package now, huh? Oh yeah, so let's send this baby out. Bloop, through the mail system. You see it doesn't stay in my stuff, it goes straight to her. One of her mailboxes is over here. And you can see the letter shows up in her mailbox. If you look at owner, Jet. Now, this ain't locked, obviously. You can lock this and restrict it and stuff. But uh, pulls her letter out. She looks at it. It opens it and rips it on my texture pack like that. She goes, it says, hey girl, what's up? Here's some extra letters. <laughs> uh, they're not letters, but we'll go like that. All right, so that's the mailing system. It's pretty cool and pretty easy. Now, when you pull all the stuff out, if you leave something in here, I can't leave it in here now. It'll actually leave that like that, so you know. But if you pull it all out, it'll go like that, and you can actually bloop, throw it away in this delete trash can from open blocks. I believe that's, I, I think that, maybe it's extra utilities. I'm sorry, I don't know, I lied. Ah, okay, <laughs> not prepared. All right, so that is the mailing system, and that's pretty much all it is. Let's send one more letter, and you guys kind of think about it in your head about what we need to do. So let's send a letter to myself. And you can send them to yourself, too. All right, so, so you can kind of use it like as an ender chest is pretty much what it is. So if I want to send it to myself, and I have one in my house and one at spawn, I can put it in my mailbox, and it'll keep it in my mailbox, and I can open it up at spawn. All right, think about that, too. All right, say, hey myself from the future future all right we're gonna add two iron just in case and i'll grab a stick at spawn need to make that sword that i dropped earlier because i died or something okay so uh remember we need one stamp for the base and we need two for these so that's three in total so we need one in Two in equals three in. So we're gonna use a one stamp. We could do it this way too, as you see. But um, on stamp wise, which this would actually probably be cheaper. I mean, depending on your material. But sometimes your material, you got more copper or something than you do iron or appetite. No, okay. But, but anyways, put that in there, it'll do the same thing, okay guys? So close that out, send it to myself. I can open it up, it's in there still. I can open in this one, which is mine. Uh, it's in there still. I can open in this one, which is mine. It's in there still. Open in this one, which is mine. It's in there still. Any mailbox, okay? So kind of like a inner chest system, pretty much, okay, guys? Now, I'm going to show you this whole thing of not pulling it out. We open it. Boop, letter from me. Hey, my future self. All right. Two iron. I leave it like this. 
my package actually stays in the envelope so I don't accidentally throw it away. Oh, here, throw this, whoops. Throw this, throw it away. Oh, wait, no, I got something in here. Let's pull it out first. Oh, yeah. Now we can throw it away. Oh, just like that. All right, so that is that. Okay, that is the system. Um, That's the mailing system, pretty much. We're going to just use these mailboxes from now on, and uh, we're going to get into the trading system. So that's it. That's actually it for the mailing. That's pretty much all you need to know. Um, we are going to use that system to get into this in just a second. We'll be right back. All right, guys. Sorry about that commercial break. I had to do it, bro. I had to do it. All right, we're going to get into the trading system now. And it's pretty simple. We got some shops set up. Jess got one up here for selling paper. I got one set up here for selling envelopes and one for selling stamps, okay? So, like I said, you're going to need a mailbox. We're going to use uh, my mailbox right here. I believe this is mine. Yes, my mailbox right here. And we're going to interact with the trade station. So let me get a trade station out, okay? And we're going to automatically, before it opens anything for you, it's going to ask you to name it. All right, so let's just name this. We'll name this MC Mechanics. MC Mech. Okay, hit enter, and it's named. Go back into it. Oh, you stupid. <laughs> MC Mech. All right. Why won't you? Missing resources. I can't get into the resources because you won't let me. MC, what's the name of that? Enter. It should go into it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Should have went into there the first time. I don't know why I did it. All right, so it says missing resources. More resources need to be supplied for the operation. So what we're going to do here, we're going to go over the GUI, okay? So this is the name of your trade station right here. Um, and this is kind of your section right here. Um, this whole thing's automated, so when it gets sent a letter, it needs to send a letter back, okay? So what do you need to send letters back? Um, it's kind of not letters, okay? <laughs> I know, right? Um, so what you're going to need to send letters back is some paper and some stamps. So paper. All right. And some stamps. Which uh, I suggest you put a stack of every stamp in here and it'll do the math itself. Okay. Uh, if you're doing single items at a time, you should be okay. Um, but I suggest putting like this, 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 and this. And it, what, where's the 10 at? 2 in, not 20, sorry. 20, not 100. Uh, where's the 10? I don't know where I put the 10. Oh, there's the 10. All right. And that way you got every stamp. You can do the math evenly and send it back for sure. Okay? Uh, but you can just put 1s or 2s or something like that. And then the paper goes over here. And this is pretty much the only thing you need to supply this thing. Okay? Um, other than supplies. Okay? So say we want to sell all this stuff. Say we're selling that. That's where we're going to put the selling items that we want to sell. Now, the price we're going to put over here. We're going to say five iron for how many letters? We don't know yet. Okay, so let me go through what we've done through already. We put some stamps up here. We put some paper here so it can mail out letters. Okay, these six paper, these four stamps. That has to be filled or else it won't send. It'll say the station does not have enough supplied materials or something like that. Okay, All right. this will be the section of how much you want them to pay. I want to get five iron for some letters. This is your stockpile, okay? Now we need to distinguish down here how many letters we want to sell for five iron. Let's say we sell three letters for five iron. So they were, they're gonna give us five iron. You can do it like this too, or maybe four stacks of iron for three letters and rip people off or something like that. So either way, five irons getting paid and they're getting three letters, Ugh, three letters, okay? So once the payment comes in, their payment, will actually come over here. Okay, which I cannot put over here because it comes through the system. But all the money will go over here that comes in. All the stamps right here that you've supplied will go out through here, three at a time, okay? All right, so now that our thing's all set up with our stock supply of this, our stock supply of stamps and paper and our payment we want and the payment there or the outgoing product, okay? So don't worry about this. This is where all your money will come in. We're gonna make some money in a second, okay? So now there's two things that people can do on the server. Okay, they can type in forward slash mail trades, and these will be all the shops on here. So someone's got envelopes is the name of the trade station, and you can name it like Bill's Liquors and sell potions or something. Okay, something can back into that. Um, so that was like this mail trades, um, and this will pull up everything on the server. Um, you'll have to go through it, and it says envelopes. 
Someone was going to give 16 letters for one diamond. MC, which one we just got, is going to be three letters for five iron ingots. Paper, 64 paper for one diamond. Stamps, someone's got a station called Stamps. Um, so this is actually the name of it, what they're selling, and how much they're selling it for. So I got a, I'll get 16 stamps if I give them one diamond. And the station's called Stamps, all right? So um, there's another way to do it, too called a catalog. Now this can be crafted and it's pretty cool. Catalog. It's right here. Now the recipe for this, um, where did it just go? <laughs> I hate this thing. <laughs> All right. Is one stamp, any stamp of your choosing and a book. Pretty simple to make, correct? All right. So let's get out of here. If we open the catalog, the catalog will actually show us everything on the thing and it updates too, okay? So uh, Chris Woodward will trade 16 envelopes for one diamond. Trade is available, which means it's stocked and everything's ready to go. All right. Uh, we'll also trade three. This is the one we just made, okay? Um, now, if we click... Okay. Let me get into this. I'm stepping ahead of myself. So this is the one we just made. Let's get the mailbox back out. And I'll say we want... We want 16 letters. Well, we got iron on us. Let's just do that. So <laughs> we'll do that in a minute. Um, we want three letters. For five iron because we're running out and we need to make that uh, other trade for paper or something. Um, so let's get a envelope. I'll actually pull some diamonds out too. Letter. Grab a stack of those. All right, we'll grab some. Whoops, shoot. And we'll also grab. Whoops, double click. Some diamonds for this next trade. Okay. Stack of them, bro. I'm rich, fools. All right, so we're gonna go in here, and we want to get a single letter, like I said before. Right click it, and we're gonna click on this. Okay. Now we put the station name in here, and it's called MC, correct? Um. Now we hit enter. It's gonna show us. Okay. If you did it wrong, it won't come up, and it'll say, "Please send me." Now you gotta think of this. I I didn't. It took me a minute to understand this when I was watching videos until I started doing it. What you're doing is you're writing a letter. So you're telling the station, hey, please send me three envelopes for every five iron I attach. Okay, see how that works? Because I thought you're going to think, your people are going to think on the server, send me three envelopes for five iron. Huh? What? Okay, it's kind of confusing. But this is telling you, telling the station to send you three envelopes for five iron. So we're going to attach five iron. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to attach our stamps. Remember, one stamp. For every envelope you send out, no matter what, it's empty, whatever. It's got to have a stamp on it, okay? Um, and then we can do a five stamp because there's five iron, which is pretty convenient. Where did my five iron stamps go? All right, let's just do the two stamps, and I'll show you guys this works. Wow. I lost all my stamps, bro. Stamp. <laughs> Give me a five stamp, fool. All right, there we go. So we can do a five stamp right here, and it'll say, hey, you got enough stamps, bro. Let's go do this. All right, so you just clear us out, or close out, do that. And you'll see it says two money um, because I have two shops. So there's our, dang it, there's our money for, for the shop if you're the one running the shop. It's in there. Everything's automated. It's, it's, it's instant, okay? I obviously have some money in here somewhere else, too. Or maybe I sent it twice on accident. Uh, the GUI up there on the left is kind of buggy for some reason. I don't know why. Um, maybe it. Maybe I bought two. I don't know. So this one's three letters. Yeah, let's check this one. One order. Oh, I got a message from myself telling me that I got an order. So this will actually send you... I forgot about that. Um, when your shop takes a... makes a payment or makes a trade or whatever, it'll send you a letter in your mailbox saying, hey, you sold something. Okay? So let's look at that. It says, one order from Chris Woodward were filled. So it tells you who bought your item. And you can send a thank you note if you want or something. All right. So it says I bought something from myself. Um, and then here was my thing from the shop that says, please find your order attached to three envelopes. Okay. So let's do this again. Let's do it with the diamond one. So let's go in and say, hey, we'll do it this way though. Say we got the catalog now. We don't have to do that no more. So let's find this. All right. Let's see. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Trade is available. We'll trade. Yep, I want some stamps for some. No, 
we want some paper for some diamonds, okay? All right, so if you click use, the next time you open an envelope, that will automatically be in the actual filled in already, okay? So if we go to this, bam, there it is, paper. Paper for diamonds, so it's really quick and easy, okay? So we're gonna send a diamond, and we're gonna send this to Jess. So you'll see, we won't get a message because it's on her stuff, it's her thing. Um, but we're gonna attach a stamp, two stamps, one for the letter and one for the diamond. We can actually save these two stamps and use one of these if we have some extra. Where did it go? But we'll do this because I don't wanna, well, let's grab one of these stamps right here. Bloop. And just like that, pay the ferryman, that's a two end stamp, one for the letter, one for the diamond. I'm trying to make sure you guys understand this, repeat myself a little bit. All right, we'll just send this out. And we got one back that says, hey, we got the paper, all right? And the GUI will go away. And the GUI is totally dependent, so there's our paper. Um, Jet will actually have a letter in here saying, whoops, my bad. See, he says can't resend letter. Uh, this is from her actually telling her that I bought a piece of paper from her, or 64 paper from her. All right, so that's what you saw later, earlier. And that's pretty much the trade station, guys. It's really, really simple. And uh, that's pretty much the whole mod. Um, so other than, I don't think this has to be hooked up to any power or anything. Uh, you see me running it right now, so it should work. Um, but that's, if that's pretty, whoa, see that trade station is broke? Now let me see if I go, let me see, where is it at? Where's my catalog at? Oh, there it is. All right, let me go in here. Okay, so you see this envelopes? What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the envelopes out. Now if we go in here, you don't see no envelopes. So it doesn't say traders available. All right, so let's put these envelopes back in. Take the diamond out. See, if you leave this empty, make sure you don't leave this empty unless you want to give away stuff, okay? Um, and you can actually trade that for nothing, all right? That was a little tip I wanted to give you guys. Um, now I put a diamond in here and you don't have any paper in here. See, I don't have any paper. We go in here, it will not show up. Um, also, if you don't have any stamps in here, um, whoops, it will not show up on the book or anything. So make sure, um, I suggest you get in this book. It's really easy to look through stuff and just click use and then go to it automatically. Um, but other than that, guys, it's a pretty simple mod. If you guys have any questions, Ask me in the comments below and I can tell you, I might have forgot something, I might not have added it, I'm, I'm, I apologize. It's a pretty in-depth mod uh, uh, tutorial for what it's worth. Um, if you need to know how to make a centrifuge or something, just just comment below, man. Just comment below if you need it. Um, I don't care if it's two months later, I will answer you and I will let you know, okay? So that's about it for this mod. I do believe I covered everything in it. Um, let's go to delete moon, get rid of some of this so I can find out. Um, but yeah, I definitely suggest to use this on servers. And uh, we're going to look at one more thing real quick before I go for the server admins and stuff um, with the stamp collector. Now you see, we sent on all those stamps with all those or all those letters with all those stamps on there. We're going to see how good business is doing. Oh wow, look at all these trades just today. And you clear this out. You're like okay, we'll trade this, clear this out. We'll check it tomorrow. We'll see how many trades remain. All right. So that's how you use the stamp collector, guys. Bob. We need, we need to shut this operation down. It's getting dark. Post office should be closed already. Um, it's about 480,000 ticks for you. Um, you're about to retire. And uh, I think I'm about to retire from this video too. So uh, I will catch you guys in the next episode. Legacy Craft members, if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, and anybody else out there in YouTube, Minecraft, Magic Land, you guys let me know if you need some help, okay? Uh, leave comments if you need help or something, like and sub or stuff like that. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Leave a comment for what else tutorials. You got any You got any ideas from tutorials or stuff like that? Let me know. I'll do them. I'll do them, man. I'll do anything you guys want me to do. I swear. Just don't leave me. Don't leave me. I love you guys. What do you have? Peace. Bye. Come back now, you here?